Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Happy birthday, my beautiful Pisces. So, my loves, um, if you're looking for crystals to heal and clear chakras, um, protect against negative energy, insomnia, anxiety, psychic attack, uh, depression, if you just want to invite love and healing into your life, you could visit Kim K Crystals. Her website is below. Um, she does go live on Facebook. She does live crystal, uh, crystal sales. I do choose um, free winners, uh, free winners for free readings. I couldn't get that out. Um, she also gives away a bunch of stuff on each live and it is a lot of fun. So if you want to check it out, her Facebook page is below. Okay. Um, special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111. Owl Tarot in the description box below. You'll see recommended readers. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I do choose a bunch of winners every single month in the description box below. You will see a list of everything that I give away. Okay. And, um, um, you can just hashtag what you would like to manifest in the comment section below, okay? All right, and don't forget to click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here today for my Pisces, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. All right, so we have the Three of Wands and we have the Three of Cups. We have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. Guys, I'm sorry I look like death right now, but it is early, like way too early, like, like early. <laughs> Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we've got the Eight of Wands. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. So we have the moon card, Cancer, Piscean, Energy again, and we've got the Six of Wands. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. We have the Eight of Swords, and we have Temperance, Sagittarian, Energy. One more for my Pisces, please. And we've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Under the deck, Ten of Swords. Okay. So let's see what we have happening here, Pisces. So we have the Three of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and the High Priestess. Um, there's no communication here. Someone has gone very, 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 very quiet in this connection. And um, I feel like someone's trying to find out information. I feel like someone here was waiting to reconcile. Someone was waiting to hear from somebody, Pisces. That could be you. That could be your person. So someone was waiting for some form of communication and it never came in. So now what's happening is, is that someone is going online, looking, just trying to find information because it's like a mystery. Where did this person go to? Where are they? Right? So I feel like what happened here, Knight of Swords in the reverse, someone just stopped pursuing. Like, I mean, just like fell off of the face of the earth. Um, with the moon card, it's like complete, like just absence. Okay. And then, um, I'm feeling here. Yeah, I, I just get, what's funny is I don't really feel, um, I don't feel an energy of being ghosted and you want to know why because I feel like the relationship ended and what the dynamic of this connection maybe has always been is that you guys break up to make up right break up to make up and I feel like finally what has happened here is that the makeup part is not coming back together again okay um someone is not chasing maybe someone before used to chase or you used to chase like there was always someone here that would bring this back together and I feel like what's happening now is you're realizing that it's for the best with the six of wands you know and you're starting to maybe um move on okay you're starting to move on with the knight of pentacles and temperance here i feel like it's going to be a slow process of healing it's going to be a slow process of healing with the eight of swords and the seven of swords and the reverse there's still kind of this energy where you think of this person and in a way you don't want to move on like how can i put it all right so this person's not coming back right so you start thinking of 
things that you should do. Maybe I should move. Maybe I should go on vacation. Maybe I should start a new job. Maybe I should go to school. Maybe I should go date. You know, you're thinking of all these things that you should do in the process of healing. Okay. So, you know, you're saying this is for the best, you know, all this good stuff. But at the end of the day with the eight of swords and the seven of swords in the reverse, you're still kind of stuck on this person not really wanting to make the move. Okay. So, and so if the seven of swords was in the upright, it's that would kind of be you taking the opportunity to slip away and get away from this with the seven of swords in the reverse. I kind of feel like there's this energy of, I don't want to go. I know I should go, but I'm kind of still stuck on this and I don't want to go. Um, yeah. See with the king of cups here, Piscean energy and the 10 of swords, there's still kind of this energy of what if they come back? What if they actually do want a second chance? Like there's still this energy of, you know, um, what if they come back, you know, because you're used to this person coming back. And then, you know, it's like this cycle of they come back, you don't trust them, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not like they come back and everything's okay. Every time that they come back, you trust this person less and less and less, but they've always come back. That's been like one of the only things that's been consistent. But it's a cycle that's shutting out here with the world card. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know, this person comes back and you actually, you and this person try to forgive and forget and really work on the connection. That's not the case. You know, with the Queen of Swords, it's like you want them to come back just to push them away. So every time this person comes back, you know, you don't trust them. You don't want to, you don't want to move forward with them. You want to kind of just like keep maybe throwing it in their face what they've done to you. And guys, this can be vice versa. We've all done this. These are things that it's not meant for you to be ashamed of, you know, you may not do this, you may do something different, but that's like the type of energy that I'm feeling. Like you're hurt by this person. So every time this person comes back around, it's kind of like beating a dead horse. And that's why it falls apart again. Okay. And I feel like finally someone has just given up on trying to pursue the connection and you know, it's for the best, you know, it's for the best because ultimately you don't trust the person. Right. But at the same time, you know, we see here with the with the King of Cups, there's still love there. There's still emotion there, right? So let's go ahead and clarify this. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Pisces? Tell me about the Three of Cups, uh, the Three of Wands, please. The Three of Wands. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups the three of cups and the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of you've invested a lot into this Pisces. There's an energy of you've invested a lot into this and you're kind of still stuck in memories. You know, someone here is still stuck in the past, being nostalgic, missing the other person. Someone was expecting reconciliation and to come together again with the four of wands. Someone kind of always thought that this would end in marriage or higher levels of commitment, even though it's kind of this crazy on and off cycle. Page of Swords. And the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords. Someone here is trying to find out information, maybe asking around, asking friends, just trying to find information because with the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords, the fact that someone's not coming around, the fact that someone's not speaking, it's kind of getting into someone's head here like someone's like what's going on knight of swords energy in the reverse and the four of cups yes yeah, someone here um they're tired of being rejected is the problem and this is the energy that i was feeling here someone here gave up on pursuing because every time they come in with an offer and every time they come in with their cups and whatever they get shot down like the cycle ends again and that's ultimately because someone here every time this comes together someone i seen that queen of swords they're not really willing to to forgive and forget and because of that because of that mistrust and because of that that guarded energy it keeps on falling apart again tell me about the moon king of wands in the reverse and the king of pentacles yeah i feel like what's happening here is you're dealing with someone that presents themselves as a king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy when in fact with the king of wands in the reverse this person may have been non-committal okay this person may have been non-committal behind your back and your intuition tells you that your intuition tells you that and that's what makes this connection fall repeatedly it's not built on a solid foundation you're trying um I hate to say this terminology, but you're trying to turn 
you know, a home into a house, but like you're trying to turn someone that is, you know, for the streets into somebody that is, you know, husband or like you, you want to turn this player into a, uh, a, into a stable person, right? So every time they keep coming around and trying to offer you something because this person doesn't fit the mold of what you're looking for, they don't make you feel safe. They don't make you feel stable. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because they're there. Maybe this person's very flirtatious. Maybe they cheat. Maybe they have a lot of options. Um, um, you know, even though they want to come in and present themselves to be the person that you want them to be, okay? This person knows that you want a king of pentacles energy. You want someone solid. You want someone stable. You want, you know, someone like that. So they may come in trying to offer that, but again, it's on a, a foundation that's cracked because it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? This person isn't a king of pentacles. They are a king of wands in the reverse. They may have a nasty temper, temper tantrums. They may be very selfish, um, you know, a, a, a very jealous or possessive or you know I don't know you know what I'm saying um tell me about the eight of wands yeah ten of swords the fact of the matter is is that this is over and it's time to move on and with the six of wands you know it's for the best you know closing out this cycle is for the best knight of pentacles six of pentacles and the page of pentacles um i feel like it's a snow slow moving process because you're still kind of expecting this person to come in with an apology and make it right and there's this overwhelming sense of like i i just you know this person hurt me and it's like you're relying on this person to heal you temperance and temperance you see what i'm saying this person caused a lot of toxicity here knight of wands and the devil this person hurt you a lot they cheated a lot perhaps this person acted non-committal Whatever this person did to you, Pisces, you want this person to come in and somehow magically heal you, okay? Because they're the ones that broke you, right? So you want this. You want them to come in and balance out the scales, but it's going to be a slow-moving process where you realize that you need to, you know, heal, that you need to heal on your own, that this healing angel is going to come in and heal you, that this offer is not going to come in. And with the tower and the empress, you will find one day that you will be set free from this. And with the empress level, you'll be stronger for it. It will happen one day. You know, you'll just wake up and you'll realize that you're all the better for it. Tell me about the eight of swords and the ace of pentacles the only thing that's holding you back from a prosperous new beginning is you you're in your head about it seven of swords in the reverse seven of swords in the reverse four of pentacles and the hanged man for some reason you're staying stagnant you're staying still um you you maybe you still have this hope that this person's going to come back and fix what they did okay um i don't see that happening here yeah i see that you will emotionally and hinge from this person you will you know with the nine of pentacles you may even you know open a business become financially independent but you are going to become financially and emotionally independent from this person this pain is going to make you stronger pisces four of swords and the strength card this pain is going to make you stronger and with the star card and the queen of pentacles i do see you being in a commitment here aquarius energy um and the nine of cups i do see you ending up in a commitment where your wishes are fulfilled you're emotionally fulfilled uh, and with that queen of pentacles you know financially you're okay i do see this happening but with the death card and the magician you have to realize here that something is finally over and you have to manifest and move forward once you do that i do see beautiful things coming in the only thing stopping this is you okay spirit clarity guidance love messages for my pisces what do you need to release a new start is coming and believe in the impossible. Um, so I and don't let your pride get in the way, Pisces, which is important because I feel like it's pride and ego that is keeping you still because it's kind of like this energy of a pride of like, no, this person doesn't get to hurt me and just walk away. They need to come back and fix it. They need to come back and fix what they did to me. You know, don't be stubborn in that energy. Don't, don't, you know, sometimes, you know, I, listen, I grew up in New Jersey. I grew up near Atlantic City. I grew up, you know, gambling. Okay. And the worst thing that you can do Pisces is to stay at a losing table and keep thinking that you're going to win your money back. Okay. It's not going to happen. All right. So staying in this connection, thinking that you're going to get back what you lost or, or get that healing from what broke you, not going to happen. Focus on self-healing, call on the divine, call on your angels to help heal you. What do you need to release? You got to let it go Pisces because you have this beautiful new start that the divine wants to give to you. Um, and it may happen on a new moon. That's something to keep in mind. Okay. Okay. 
and believe in the impossible blue moon believe in the impossible because i feel like the spirit god the divine is ready to bring you a relationship that's going to make you happier than what you ever dreamed you can be like you know you may be in this energy of it would just be nice to have someone that i don't know doesn't cheat or doesn't lie right meanwhile the divine is about to bring you like boom like you're about to be like damn <laughs> you know what i'm saying the divine is out to bring you what you never even thought was possible what you never even thought was possible spirit advice for my pisces please we've got the thinking woman garden in the gate and journey yeah see pisces what's happening here we've got hostilities this connection was toxic you guys fought really bad in this connection and it gave you a lot of anxiety okay the the connection was very toxic now what we have here is you're doing a lot of thinking eight of swords energy you're very in the in your head with garden in the gate we've got this girl sitting in this garden she looks absolutely miserable this garden is really pretty but everything that she wants is outside of this gate okay so you may be stuck in this energy where you're thinking of the positive aspects of this connection like maybe dreams that you guys shared or how you guys joked around like you know the few little positive aspects of the connection that's where you might be sitting in here but ultimately if you just set yourself free you'll be much happier journey move on maybe some of you need to move physical location to make this happen maybe some of you need to go take a vacation just to kind of heal and get over everything clarity guidance love messages for my pisces we've got status quo we've got the honoring path and we've got the loving woman pisces we've got commitment here we've got joyous fun you've got a connection coming in here where your status is about to change from someone who was constantly being heartbroken to someone who gets put on a pedestal and loved beyond you're going to even look more beautiful or look more hit like you're gonna glow you're gonna be glowing that's how much this person loves you okay we've got commitment and joyous fun this is a commitment that's gonna bring you so much happiness and so much joy pisces okay clarity guidance love messages for my pisces please we've got romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life i feel like yes you did love this person your feelings are real and you did explore that option you did the best you could to try to make this work but you have to trust in divine timing you have to trust where the divine wants to take you pay attention to the red flags you're not looking yes yeah, see forgiving and learning and soulmate and reconciliation you're you're wanting to not look at the negative aspects of this connection you're you're hoping for reconciliation this could be a soulmate energy okay but as we know not all soulmates are meant to say some of them you have to learn a lesson now this could be a you know that world card it could be a cycle soulmate connect a, a, a karmic uh, soulmate that had to close out forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments you are calling in a soulmate pisces your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and we've got it's safe for you to love once you said once you work on fully separating from the oh, look at what just popped out once you work from fully separating from this person finances and career and separation new love is coming towards you pisces new love is coming towards you pisces and i feel like codependency true love and passion this person's going to be freaking crazy about you this person is going to be crazy about you pisces <laughs> okay i mean like unbelievable okay all right guys. I love you and happy birthday. Bye.